Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a spotlight um, happen with the mouse and um, and make sure so that what's going to happen is that the screen is going to be black and then when you move the mouse over it kind of shines a light on whatever's in the background. So in order to do that what we need to do is you need to go to our test layer make sure the background color is black. If not you can just click on it. Um, black is easy because the RGB values are 0, 0, 0. We have to put transparent, no and then force own texture it usually is set to no but let's put this up to yes okay now we also have um, the way this is going to work is that the, both the lights and the background are going to be on one layer okay and then the, the actual background is going to be what we see so we have to get this on the other layer so we're going to go control X and control V simple enough and so what we're going to see behind the light is this but everything is going to be happening here. So what we need to do is we need to add in the light sprite. So we're going to add that in. We're going to double click, sprite, and then we're going to open up our light. And I decided to use light. All right. And that's on the wrong layer. So control X, control V. There we go. There's a light. Now you see there's nothing going through yet. And that means we have to use an effect. Now I haven't gone over these yet but we will use these later. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to destination out. So if we before we run this, we have to make sure that this is set up to the mouse. Okay? So um we have something here from another game, so we're just going to go ahead and delete that. Delete, right click delete, right click delete, and right click delete and delete everything. So we're going to add an event and on system every tick we're going to move the sprite 3 which is the light in this case set position to mouse.x and mouse.y simple enough and that means it's going to move around so i think that's everything so let's just run this and yep yeah, there we go so you see there's no light and then bam we have light there it's a pretty cool technique and also this looks really good um, let's just play around with this a little bit because it's so much fun. Um, what we're going to do is we're going the size is 512 by 512, and if we divide that by two, and the math skills are lacking today, and I should know this really, it's 256. I knew that. Anyway, it's always good to check if you if you're not 100 percent sure. so it's going to make it half and now we're just playing around now that kind of looks cool but maybe we should expand it up a little bit more so we're going to go back to this and we're just going to click this one up now I'm just going to push control Z now one thing that I've done is snap to grid and then when you when you move these you see how it snaps as well you definitely want to have that there we go so you see it's 320 by 320. Yeah, it's a lot better. Maybe one more will work. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you how I made this light. Um, it's it, I made it in Photoshop and it was actually really easy to make. But there's one reason why this light looks so good versus just um, a regular white circle. In fact, I'm going to bring in the regular white circle in a second here. So let's just take a look. Yeah, there we go. So you see that? There's our mammoth. Here we go. And that actually looks kind of cool. That could be like a, a logo screenshot right there. Anyway, um, let's um, let's go back to construct. And what we're going to do is we are going to um, add in that other sprite. So we're going to go sprite, add in that other sprite, and we're going to add in this the pure light two is pure white. Okay, and then we're going to make that 320 by 320 just to make it the same size simple enough and all we have to do is change this so we're gonna right click delete add action sprite 4 set position mouse.x and mouse.y pretty good right and so that way this is now on that um, is using the mouse I'm just gonna move that to the side here so let's work on it and I forgot to do something 
and what did I forget to do? I forgot to add the effect. Destination. Alright, now that also looks cool, but there's a difference. Do you see the difference? The, the other one wasn't a pure white, it was kind of off-white. So let's just take a look at this one, and if you can see the difference, that this one is blurred out, and that's exactly what it is. So what I did in Photoshop is I made this white circle, and then I added a Gaussian blur to it, and I added quite a bit of blur. And that's the difference, and if you can see the edges are a little bit uh, more, um, well it isn't exactly pure white, it's kind of a gradient. That looks way better than this. If you look at it, this looks good and it looks very clean, but that just looks a little bit more professional. So I'm going to get rid of that, I'm going to go back to my event sheet, and then I'm also going to get rid of this too. Okay, so add an event, sprite, and we're going to set the position, and we're just going to go mouse.x and mouse.y. And make sure when you're typing these in, mouse has to be capitalized. So when we look at this, it looks way better. Um, and you can play around with the Gaussian blur in, um, in Photoshop if you, as much as you want. All right? So that pretty much at, wraps it up for this tutorial. Um, I'm wondering if there's anything else. Um, feel free to play around with these effects. They look really neat. Anyway, um, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.